Friend, Hi. good to see you. Mwah. Great to see you. Happy belated birthday. Thank you very much. What, a couple days ago? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you. I tell you what, 21 looks good on you. Oh, thanks. See you there? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> um, we've got birthday to me. something very, very <laughs> special. And this is happy birthday to everybody yeah. who orders this because we're talking about St. Clair two or four mm -hmm. two pound bags of chicken and dumplings. Right. Now down south we don't put a G on that word. <laughs> and a lot of you are saying, well, you know, I've had drop dumplings before. Is that what this is? Mm -hmm. No. These are what are called rolled dumplings. Right. Some people call them slippery dumplings. Mm -hmm. And they are amazing because they're pillowy, soft, rolled, gorgeous, melt in your mouth dumplings. And they are resting in a velvety, smooth, gorgeous sauce that is full or resplendent. With chicken, <laughs> white That's a meat. Big word. Oh, look here! Young man, uh -oh. get him, Jane. Young man, do not speak about Jane. That That's way. right. You do not call my Jane sloppy. <laughs> get him, Jane. All right. So what we're talking about, of course, is this beautiful savory uh, sauce with the pillow soft dumplings and the extra white and dark meat chicken. Exactly. This is slow food fast, as I like to call it, because all you're doing is warming up. Water on your stovetop, boiling this bag for about 15 to 20 minutes, and you have got the closest thing to homemade chicken and dumplings you are possibly going to get without spending hours in your oven or in your oven. On don't, the don't, don't spend hours in your oven, please. <laughs> yeah, get out of the oven. What you <laughs> hot in there? At the um, stovetop. All right. Now, exactly. what I should also tell you is that these come to you frozen in simmer bags. Now, take a look here. I'm going to pick up one of these. We actually have a little cloth underneath these because they mm -hmm. are sticking to our, our um, platter. These are frozen, okay? You take them out of the freezer frozen, get a big old stock pot and get some water simmering. And how long do they need to simmer in the stock pot? Only about 15 to 20 minutes. It Enough time to make a pan of biscuit? Exactly. Faster than you can get a pizza delivered to your house. I mean, think about that. Mm. And then all you're going to do is just cut open the bag. And then I've got a bowl right here that here I'm just going to pour it into. That's going to be my serving bowl. This is David's bowl exactly right here. Right. And look at all of that. And this is not, you know, I didn't stage this for TV. What you're seeing coming out of the bag is exactly what you're getting. It's all so those marvelous. dumplings, it's all that so chicken. It's perfect. It's oh, yeah. cold outside, boys and girls. You want the kind yes. of food that makes your tummy smile. This is the food the whole family will love. My grandmother used to make this on cold and snowy days. Mm -hmm. We would have her homemade biscuits and we'd dip in there. And sop up all the gravy. It's just a carb explosion, it and I is. love it. So comforting. It's so marvelous. Now let's go through the offer, reminding you: you can mm -hmm. either order two four-pound bags, excuse right. me, two two-pound bags, or four two-pound bags. Right. And that's we are more servings that's for four true. bags. We are more limited in the two two-pound bags, mm -hmm. and we also have the four two pound bags. We also have auto delivery. We can deliver this every 90 days for a year. You buy the two four pound, excuse me, the four two pound bags, you save $40 with the buy more, save more. I'm just going to get my serving bowl here. There you go. There we are. <laughs> and I'm just going to keep stirring and serving. Oh, it's a David size spoon This too. is making me so hungry. You know, when you're a little bit under the weather, you don't want to cook for yourself. No. These are in your freezer. They will keep for a year in your freezer, if not longer. Mm. And then you've just got hot, comforting chicken and dumplings that you did. You barely lifted a year. Yes. Beer. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Happy dance, Yay. happy dance. Yeah. That's a chicken and dumpling. Dumpling, dumpling, dumpling. Happy dumpling dance. Dumpling dance. That's Ooh, right. That's a dumpling dance. <laughs> These are so marvelous. Mm -hmm. I am suddenly 10 years old again in my grandmother's right. kitchen, tugging on her apron, asking her if they're ready. Oh, I'm going to make it biscuit. better. There you go. Get that biscuit Get down the biscuit in there. Get the biscuit down in there. You got to sop up all that gravy. It's so mm. good and hearty and yummy and delicious. So good. It's perfect for a cold day. It's just my favorite. It is. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. It is so marvelous, so yummy, so perfect mm -hmm. for your whole family. Family, and it can be ready in 20 minutes. Right. I mean, how great is that? You come home, you don't have to go to the grocery store. Mm. All you're doing is taking the bag out of your freezer, putting it in boiling water for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then I'm just going to cut open another one right here, and you're done. And you haven't lifted a finger, you haven't had to chop anything, you haven't had to cook anything, and I'm just going to pour it right on top of what we have over here, right and if out of the bag. You want to make some of this in advance and then keep it on the stove and let it simmer. 
until all the family gets home, then mm -hmm. that's perfectly fine too. You could even throw it into a, a slow cooker. Right. Yes. And let we've it done just that simmer that way too. too. Right. And look, that just came right out of the bag. That's exactly what you're getting. All of those pillowy soft dumplings. Mm. You know, if you like them a little bit thicker, I say cook them like five minutes longer, and they just get all just gooey and yummy with that gravy. Because these are par cooked, so when you cook them at home in the bag. Those dumplings actually absorb some of the gravy themselves. And they plump up a little more. Right. That's the great thing about dumplings. Mm -hmm. And when I was home, you guys saw over Christmas, my mom made homemade chicken dumplings. Yes. Oh my gosh, we posted the picture on Instagram and Facebook. And it was such fun because we used her old mm -hmm. uh, dishcloth that was dusted in flour yes. that she took from her mother's kitchen after oh, she passed wow. away. Grandma That's Bernsey great. always kept her, her um, dish towel coated in flour in a, in a recyclable bag. Mm -hmm. And when they were cleaning out the house, mom took that and she kept it. And every time she makes dumplings, she uses grandma's. Oh, that's, I love hearing stories yeah, like that. Yeah, using grandma's floured towels. So it just really is perfect. In this case, you don't, you're not rolling out anything or pulling out any mm -hmm. flour or doing any extra work. This is something, now mom makes them uh, from scratch for family on, on, on rare occasions. Right. But this is the kind of way you can have it all the time all the regularly. Time. And that's what makes it so special. Definitely. We're very busy on our phones. Lots and lots of you making this choice. Mm -hmm. Two two pound bags or four two pound bags. Yep. Over a thousand sets are gone. Wow, thank you. I can you. tell you when I raise my hand and testify in foodie <laughs> court. If you trust me when it comes to food, trust me on these dumplings. Mm -hmm. They are amazing. You will not be disappointed, not in any way, shape, or form. They are fantastic. Thank you. That One means of my a lot most, coming from you. I most appreciate favorite. that. Yes. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ready for the second half of the show now? <laughs> I'm all fueled up all and ready to go. <laughs> hey, happy, happy birthday to oh, you. Thank you so Safe much. Safe travels. Give your family our best. I will. All righty. Hey, let's tell you, if you're looking for my recipe for Sloppy Joe Taco,